my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another video for you guys i do want to before we get into this i do want to make a disclaimer for those of you guys that uh, get queasy very easily or that are not into um any type of heavy magic then go ahead and click out uh, this is a very strong very powerful spell uh, it does have a multitude of ingredients, but uh, obviously this is, like I said, very heavy type of spell work. So if you guys are not into that or just don't like that, then definitely click away. I don't want to make anyone upset. So anyways, what this spell is for is I'm actually doing the last process of spell work for a client of mine. And their circumstances and situations are very um complex uh so what we're doing here is um you can use this type of spell work to either remove someone from your life to banish them uh to bring chaos to their life if it's if you're using this as a form of protection um then just make sure to use your protective candles make sure to protect yourself before getting into this type of spell work um, if you're doing it more for vengeance uh, then I would highly encourage you guys to make sure that you guys are fully protected uh, just so you don't experience any lingering energies uh, because it is a very strong very powerful type of spell uh, so with that said make sure to have your protective candles if you don't know how to protect yourself for these type of spell works, there is a video that I made that you can check out uh, how to protect yourself. Um, if you guys are not fully aware or don't really know uh, how to go about doing a cleansing bath before doing these type of spell works, then I would highly encourage you guys to get uh, the Black Cat's uh, soap that I have on my online store. It is... Uh, perpetually done uh, specifically for these type of spell works really heavy spell work uh, you shower with that soap you cleanse yourself with that soap and you're going into it protected as well as <clears throat> protected as well as cleanse uh, which is very crucial and very important not only for the beginning of the spell work going into the spell work but as well when you're done with this type of spell work it is very important to cleanse your energy, to cleanse the energy around you and to ground yourself uh, and then, you know, go ahead and, and shower, or cleanse yourself again uh, to remove this energy. Like I said, it's very heavy type of spell work. Uh, just putting it out there and letting you guys know. Okay, so with that said, uh, let's get into the ingredients. Now, like I said, I am doing this for a client, so I'm going to be using gloves uh, you guys, obviously, if you're doing this for yourself, you wouldn't need the gloves. Um, I am going to be using um, uh, ingredients that my client gave to me that are of uh, very personal nature, which is why I'm using the gloves. Uh, but like I said, you don't need this if you're doing this for yourself. Now, what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a voodoo doll. Um, now, there's two different forms. There's clay dolls and there is these uh, voodoo dolls that we use. Um, uh, like you guys can see, I have already been working on it. But like I said, this is the conclusion of the spell work. If you can find these, um, you, I'm sure you can find them online. Uh, I'm sure you can find them at botanical shops um, or spiritual uh, shops, I should say. And if you can, you guys can always shop online. You'll be able to find everything on there, okay? All right. So what we're also going to need is you're going to be needing, um, ideally, uh, either parchment paper or uh, I use for this uh, the brown bags that they sell um, or that they give, I mean, like at liquor stores and stuff like that. Um, I have, I use... Uh, those type uh, that type of paper uh, only to bring down uh, sigil so this sigil here is um, it's a, a form of hex it's a form of um, creating chaos and confusion um, and basically striking down their luck uh, 
Um, so what this spell work is specifically for is like I said, if you're trying to remove, if you're trying to get rid of someone, uh, now I am doing it, uh, personalized for my client. Um, like I said, their circumstances are very complex. Uh, she wants to be able to see everything unfold before her. And the only way to do that is you can't do a banishment when you're trying to uh, basically see what they're reaping after everything that he has put my client through. Um, so that's the reason we're going to do this. So this is a form of hexing. Uh, it's very strong. Um, it, it's, it's not just hexing. Uh, we're closing all the, the doors for him. Uh, this is a very narcissistic person. This is a person that uh, goes from women to women uh, getting whatever they want and once they're done and they've used them enough um, then they move on to the next so we're cutting the links for any opportunities he may have as well as hexing his luck um, as well as uh, reminding him of my client in a sense torment um, so this is definitely chaotic spell work like I said it's not for everyone anyways uh, aside from the doll that you're going to need and uh, a piece of paper where you're going to be writing down uh, the sigil, uh, you're also going to be needing parchment paper for the petition and the name uh, information that is going to go on there. Now, ideally, <clears throat> you can get a tag. Uh, this is uh, when we pretty much um, baptize uh, the doll and uh pretty much put ownership of that specific individual's essence into the doll. Um, so once we are done with the consecration of it, we put the tag and wrap it around the head. Uh, and the reason for that is not only, obviously, I do a multitude of spell works for different clients, um, but also uh, it's important to wrap a uh, rope or something around the neck uh, so that they can feel the pressure. Um, so that's the reason why you're going to be needing that. And you're going to be needing Vervain. I've already explained to you guys what Vervain does. Uh, Vervain is a very strong and powerful, potent uh, type of herb that we use, especially uh, when we are trying to substitute uh, for cemetery door, uh, dirt. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> so I'll be using both. I'm actually going to be using cemetery dirt, Vervain, and uh, coffee grounds so you're going to be needing coffee um, coffee that you use like in your coffee pot the residue of the coffee that's what we're going to be needing uh, the reason for the coffee is because obviously we're trying to create a lot of confusion and it brings a lot of anxiousness it brings a lot of like uh, worry a lot of like just not being able to be still um, now I had recently done a video of war water and as you guys can see here, this is the war water. And as time progresses, it becomes darker and darker, uh, which means it's becoming more prominent, more stronger, more forceful. Um, so we're going to be using a few drops of this war water on the doll. Um, so that's a form uh, that or something that you can use the war water for this type of spell work. I hope that makes sense. All right. So we're also going to be using uh, dragon's blood. Now, um, dragon's blood powder, and the reason for that is because we will be creating a circle, a uh, magic circle within the doll, obviously to invoke uh, the essence of this person into it, and I'll guide you guys through it. Anyways, uh, your next uh, ingredient is going to be, um, we're going to be using witch grass. Uh, witch grass is a very powerful and potent herb that we use. Uh, for a lot of different spell works, particularly an example for this type of chaotic spell work that we use, um, what it does, it actually uh, keeps the partner uh, from going away or it keeps them from, you can use it for love as well as chaotic spell work. The reason why we're using it here is because we don't want them, um, <clears throat> once they've burned down all their bridges, right, and once they... Uh, you know, just can't seem to get their life together. What's the first thing that we tend to do? We tend to try to run away. So we're not trying to have him do that. Uh, so with the witch grass, it's going to keep him put. Um, so that's the reason why we're using that. Now, the next thing you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing bat's blood. 
you can use uh, or get these at any botanical or spiritual shop where they sell esoteric and you're also going to be using uh, red precipitation oil okay so like i said it's a multitude of different ingredients it's a bit more difficult um in complexity um but it is again like i said very strong type of spell work and like i said if this is not for you guys then definitely um don't do it okay um all right so we're going to begin sorry that the whole introduction is almost 10 minutes um but as you guys already know i like to explain fully so you guys are aware what you're doing when you're getting into this type of spell work so like i said make sure to protect yourself make sure to uh, have protective candles as you guys can see we have our essence protection candle which is for my protection uh, specifically and then we have the protective candle that is charged and uh, made specifically for my client so that okay um so that they are protected okay all right so let's begin what you're gonna do first is again you're going to cast down a sigil and the way you do this is basically you're going to copy this or you can look online for any type of uh, chaotic or torment type of sigils uh, just make sure to do your research you guys don't just jump into sigil working without really knowing um, but anyways, so you're going to, you're going to put that there. We're going to move this a bit. Oh, and the most important thing I forgot to mention, uh, you guys are going to be needing, um, this is a heart of a chicken. Um, and of course, uh, we've got it and put it out, uh, make sure that it was completely, as you guys can see here ready for use um this is a very important ingredient and you cannot substitute okay just putting it out there and letting you guys know all right so what we're gonna do now is we're going to use some of the dragon's blood i'm gonna try to run quickly through this i just wanted to do the uh pretty much the explanation very quickly for you guys uh so you guys are aware of what you're getting into if you're not comfortable with doing spell work or you don't have much experience in it, I will highly uh, encourage you guys not to do this type of spell work. All right. OK, let's begin. We're going to go around the plate or where you're going to be doing your workings with the dragon's blood. OK, you don't need very much of it. I'm going to do my quick prayer over this. Uh, you guys can say something similar to this, or you can make it as personal as you want. So you're going to say something along these lines. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, specifically the spirits, those whom are obedient to me and work, to, uh, work for me in chaotic type of spell work. I call upon you and I ask you to please be present and assist me in rendering the highest form of results for my client in the quickest way possible. <sighs> really focus and put your energy on what you're trying to achieve. The more you focus on this, you will quickly start to feel the energy shift. Okay, this is different type of spell work, you guys. All right. Once we're done with that, we're going to put the doll right at the center. It's already been worked, but I'm going to, uh, for showing purposes, you're going to need some type of holy water. It could be holy water from a Catholic church, the way I get them. I am uh, Catholic based as well, so I do a lot of work that integrates uh, Catholicism beliefs. Anyways, we're going to be using that, but you guys can use moon water. You can use rain water. Uh, you guys can use consecrated water, okay? Whatever works for you. So I'm going to put the water in it in the form of a cross. I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to say, 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this doll so that it is the essence, the physical representation. And this is where you say the person's name, uh, the first name, last name, and date of birth. Okay. <clears throat> On this very witching hour, I bless you and baptize you. I bring you into life. I call upon the angel or the archangel that was present in your birth to empower this doll so that it may capture your essence, so that it may capture your mind, so that it may be a mirror reflection of that of who you are. I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Blessed be. All right. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is you're going to write down on the parchment paper. You're going to write down the first name, last name, date of birth of the person that you're doing this for. Like I said, be careful when doing this type of spell work. If you're not comfortable or you don't have much experience in this, please do not do this. Uh, make sure that you're also doing this to someone that you know will not retaliate, okay? Uh, people that tend to know about the practice or that uh, they themselves are practitioners, um, there's ways of finding out when someone is doing this to you. Of course, I'm doing this for a client, which is why I have a representation of my client and a uh, representation of myself and each of the different candles. Uh, this keeps it um, mirrored or blurred image. So if anyone should look into their situation, they wouldn't be able to see exactly what's going on. OK, just putting it out there. All right. You're going to put their first name, last name, date of birth. Then you're going to turn it to your right. So my right would be this way. And you're going to write down your first name, last name, and date of birth seven times going down, okay? Once that is, da once that is done, you're going to turn it again to your, to your right and turn it again. And then you're going to write down the petition. Now, the petition has to be as simplistic as possible. As an example, you're going to put the person that you're doing this for, the first name, last name, date of birth, or their first name, last name on the day of their birth and then the date of birth um i you can write down whatever it is that you're doing this for so as an example i'm doing this for my client um your narcissistic tendencies will quickly diminish your egocentrical uh, character is going to be deflated you will not be able to sexually perform you will not be able to desire think of anyone other than my client uh, you will obsess and regret everything you have ever done and put her through. Your torment, your regret, your doing will be burdensome. You will not be able to rest until you feel that you are truly forgiven. Uh, and the reason why we put that at the very end is because, again, like I said, this person has not only done this to my client, they've done it to multiple people. So even if my client down the road was to forgive them, um, then that is completely done and it's pushed out, right? <clears throat> my client no longer has a link to this person. But if they've done this to other people, they will still feel restless because they will have to uh, go through basically the line of all the people they've done harm to. Uh, so it's a form of torment. I hope that makes sense. All right. Once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to fold the paper towards you once. Then you're going to fold the paper towards you again. Then you're going to fold the paper towards you again. Then you're going to fold it one more last time like this. Okay, so I'm going to toss this out. This was just to show. So I have the real one here. Okay, with the information. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some of the bat's blood. Okay. And 
dripping some in there. Okay. So what you're going to do now is you're going to close it and you're going to put it inside the doll. Okay. Like that. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the vervain. When you guys are doing this, it is extremely important and crucial to be focused on what you're doing. If at any point in the spell work you feel some type of regret, you feel some type of remorse, then stop immediately and do not proceed. Do not continue. All right. The reason I'm saying this is because for this type of spell work, there cannot be any second guessing. There cannot be any fear involved. If there's any type of fear or doubt or worry, uh, ultimately it becomes doubt. And spirits will not be happy when they start to sense that there is regret because then it starts to torment you. All right. I can't make that as clear or as clear as that. All right. Once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to put some of the precipitation oil. Fast acting. That's the reason why we use precipitation. All right. Give me one second. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate the precipitation so that it may be washed away. Resolve as quickly as possible. Evince a representation of your fear church. So the main power and strength and give it more power and energy. Okay, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to put some of the witch grass into the doll and around the doll. Okay. What we're doing is basically creating a circle where this person will be bound to their circumstances, to the situation, and to my client with regret, with remorse. Okay? All right. I breathe you life. I breathe you life. I breathe you life. I breathe you life. I command you. I compel you. I command you. I compel you. I command you. I cover you with powder. I command you. I compel you. I command you. I compel you. Hear my voice. From here on out, you are no longer yours. You are no longer to think freely or to act freely. From here on out, confusion, regret is what you will be feeling, what you will be dealing with. Carrying the burden of all the sorrows of all those many that you've harmed. From here on out, only true and genuine regret, only true and genuine forgiveness will be given or will be felt when each one of those whom you have harmed have forgiven you truly. All right. Once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to we're going to write on a piece of paper you don't have to do this. This is, um, so if you're doing this as a form to bring a person back to you, obviously don't hex them. 
Um, so if you're doing this because they left you or they wronged you or you're trying to get them back, this spell is not for you, you guys, okay? Want to make sure of that. Only do this to those you're no longer, like you know for a fact that you will not be going back with them, without a doubt. If you feel that you down the road things should change and you want them back into your life, keep in mind that you yourself will be carrying this burden, okay? I can't stress that enough. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to get a piece of paper and we're going to write down my client's uh, name that is going to be attached to the chicken heart. Okay, give me one second. Flip it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the piece of paper and wrap it around. Okay. I'm going to wrap it around and where's the needle? Here we go. And with the needle, I'm going to puncture the heart. Okay, not sure if you guys can see. So I'm going to puncture the heart. Okay, Let's see what's coming out on the other end. There we go. Okay. So it's going to look something like this. And then we're going to introduce it into the doll. Make sure to be careful, you guys. Make sure not to hurt yourself. And be extremely focused when doing this. Um, this type of spell work has a funny way. of things unfolding, okay? So, okay. If you guys are interested in learning how to work with voodoo doll or clay dolls, definitely comment below. Let me know. Obviously, we use these not specifically for chaos. You can use uh, you can use um, voodoo dolls and clay dolls for healing purposes, for love, for bindings. Obviously, okay. All right. Okay, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the, oh, 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 that's the real one. We're going to get some of the war water. Now, I had told you guys that uh, when we make the war water, we can use this as a form of protection for ourselves, for our home and against enemies obviously we're trying to create chaos i'm not sure if you guys can see how dark this is this is extremely powerful a lot of witches don't actually like keeping these like uh, this type of water in their home if they're using it for chaotic type of spell work because uh, it's very powerful and, you know, someone can accidentally get into it and it's a whole shabam of drama. Um, but I myself work with it a lot, so I feel comfortable with it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle some of the war water to the doll.
Okay. So once that is done, all right, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to light uh, four separate black candles that are going to be uh, submerged in the war water. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show that in this video as I do have to wait 24 hours for it to dry up so then I can uh, put the candles around it. So you would put four candles around this plate. Uh, they have to be submerged in the war water. And once you light them, uh, you're going to call on the person or the, you know, the name of the person that you're doing this for. And you're going to say, I call upon you. Uh, you now belong to me. Uh, or an example, you are now under my control. You are now under uh, my enchantment. From here on out, you're going to, you know, whatever your petition was and light the candles at the same time and let them burn out. You have to be by the doll and the candles when you're doing this, okay? Once that is done, it's activated and you can work it however you wanna work it. You can put this in a, co in a wooden coffin um, box and leave it there uh, with its ingredients and everything. You will start to see the manifestations of the chaos happening of the craziness that they're going to have to deal with. If you want to continue messing with them or continue teaching them a lesson, uh, you can, as an example, um, tomorrow when I light the, the black candles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a couple needles in the groin. Uh, that's going to keep them from being able to perform sexually. Um, but again, like I said, how you dispose of this is you have to undo everything. You have to take everything out. Um, once you take everything out, you're going to have to burn the doll and the ingredients separate. Okay. Only then will you be able to, uh, be able to move forward without carrying this type of energy. All right. So I'm going to wrap, uh, my client's, uh, information or not my client's information, but the partner's information. Let me show you. I don't want to show the name. If I can do this without. All right. So it's going to look something like this. All right. And like I said, I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it uh, dry uh, for 24 hours. After the 24 hours, I will be lighting the black candles. Uh, after the black candles are lit, once that is done, the spell is completely done. Uh, like I said, the way of putting this away ideally would be to put it in a wooden box or to keep it in your altar, um, but, you know, seclude it. Don't leave it just in the altar. Put it in a box put it in, I mean, even, you know, the cigar boxes that come like they're wooden and they have glass on the top, you can put it there for safekeeping. Um, like I said, this is stronger type of spell work, so be careful and make sure to protect yourself before doing this type of spell work, okay? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Bye.